Hello, this is Damian Alomar with ASGVIS, and this is the basic materials tutorial. So I've got my scene open here, and we have three of the toys from the uh, default settings tutorial. And just really quickly go over some of my options. Right now, uh, I just have a plain white environment. Uh, I don't have a physical camera or the sun and sky, and the default light is off. So I'm just going to do a render real quick. And this is just going to be our, our base render, just the kind of white clay model uh, that we have within the scene. So i close these and bring up the material editor. So you can see our material editor has uh, three main components. We'll start off here. This is, is going to be the list of all of the materials that we have in the scene. And if we have our open up our one material here, this is going to showcase our layer structure that we have within our materials, and then the individual layers themselves. Over here, we actually we actually have the um, main panel that will have all of our options for our material. And then here we have the material preview, which we just click on our update button, and that will allow our us to get a visualization of our materials. So to start off, let me explain a little bit about uh, how our materials are structured. We have four different types of layers that we can have within our materials. Um, from top down, we have an emissive layer. So that's going to be a layer that's generating some sort of light throughout the scene. Then we have a reflection layer, obviously reflecting the environments that surround it. Uh, the diffuse layer, which uh, is enabled on this default material and that's obviously going to be just the color of our surface and then a refraction layer uh, which we would use for things like glass so a little bit about the actual layers themselves the layers will hide what any layers that are underneath it so in other words if I had two diffuse layers I would have to have some sort of transparency in the topmost diffuse layer in order to see the layer underneath it uh, this is a good thing to keep in mind um, also, there are certain values in uh, V-Ray materials that actually use a color instead of a specific number. Uh, transparency is one of those. Right now, um, our transparency is set to black, which means that, it's, um, that our material isn't transparent. Uh, I would change that to about medium gray there if I wanted to have uh, a material that was halfway transparent. So we're basically just working off of uh, grayscale color value with black being zero and white being one. So I'm going to put that back to zero here and I'm going to begin to make a few uh, materials here for our toys and our scene. So I'm actually going to right click on our material and rename that. So I'm going to rename that red toy There we go. And I'm just going to click on our color right here and change the color so that it's a little red. And I'm actually going to grab the object I'd like to apply that to. And then right click and choose apply material to objects. And so that's going to apply it to any materials that we have set up there. Or any uh, objects that we have selected. So I'm going to render again, and we see we have our material. And right now, we have a completely... Um, our environment is purely GI. And so we can actually see just a little bit of color bleeding right here around uh, the base. Uh, and that's the red material affecting the environment. So I'm going to make materials for the other two objects. And so first thing I'm going to do is right-click on Scene Material and choose add V-Ray material. And so this bring up another material. I'm going to close that guy and open this one. And again, right click and rename. So this one we'll name Green Toy. And again, we'll choose our diffuse uh, properties. 
and then change the color to a green. So I'm actually going to apply that material a different way. I'm going to grab this material or this object there and bring up its properties. And so now we'll see the Rhino properties here and I'm going to choose material. And we'll have several different options of how to assign that material. And I'm going to choose plugin. And then I'm going to browse and choose green toy. Okay. And I'm going to add our last material for this guy back here. And I'm going to right click on green material and duplicate that material. And so now we'll s you see that I have a material here called green toy one. That's the duplicate material. I'm going to go through and rename that and call that yellow toy. And again, just go back into the diffuse or the uh, diffuse layer and change its color. Okay. This time I'm actually going to apply that by layer. So I'm going to see what layer it's on, and that's on layer number three. So I'm going to right click on yellow toy and choose apply to materials by layer. So I'm going to choose three and click OK. And now we'll see that that object has the yellow material. And then go through and render once more. And so we'll notice that in the first two instances, I had the specific object and, and set their material. But in the case for the last uh, object, I applied it to the whole layer. So both the um, main part of the toy and the feet were part of that layer. So that's why that material is applied there. So I'm going to bring the material editor back up. And I'm actually going to go and add a uh, add some reflecting, reflecting material um, parameters. I'm going to go and add some reflectance parameters to uh, some of our materials. So I'm going to grab the red toy, uh, expand that tree, and I'm going to right click on reflection and add a new layer. So here we can see uh, the reflection parameters that we have. By default, we have uh, a reflection map in here. And this is going to be our Fresnel settings. Fresnel setting is uh, very important to have uh, materials reflect in a natural way. This basically changes the reflection based on the viewing angle. And so we have uh, several things that we need to pay attention to here. First, the topmost color is essentially our maximum reflection value. So right now, if we click on that, we're about uh, three quarters. Um, three quarters gray or almost uh, almost white. And our minimum reflection color is right here. Uh, so that's all the way at zero. So we're basically going from no reflection when we're looking at an object straight on to about three quarters reflection at the most extreme uh, viewing angle. And then our Fresnel uh, index of refraction, these two values are going to control how how they change between those two colors. So I'm not actually going to make any changes. I'm just going to leave those at the default settings. And now we'll update this preview. And now we'll see our, um, our scene being reflected. Here in the center, it's just slightly reflected. Yet at the edges, we can see that there's a bit more reflection. We'll render again. And we can see now that we're getting a uh, reflection with on our uh, little toy here and we can see actually the uh, edge of the infinite plane there and we can see also that as we get all the way to the edge of our toy and as it's turning away from us we we get the most reflection there so i'm going to go through here and add a reflection layer to each of our other two materials now I can go through and render again. And now we'll see that we have our materials with uh, reflectance on all of our uh, objects that we set up. 